So today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate chip cookies. First of all you need to remember to tie your hair back and wash your hands. The equipment you will need a few spoons if you want to put your ingredients into the bowl, a big tablespoon, spatula, a wooden spoon, a wire rack, a tray with baking parchment paper and lined paper. The ingredients you will need are 110 grams of softened butter, 110 grams of custard sugar, 110 grams of soft light brown sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, 150 grams of custard sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, 30 grams of milk chocolate chips and 30 grams of dark chocolate chips. First of all, you're gonna get your butter and both of your sugars and mix it in until it's pale and fluffy. And keep stirring until it's pale and fluffy. This is what it should look like when you've mixed it. It should look beige, pale and fluffy. If you start getting tired, then ask an adult to help because it does take three to four minutes to mix properly. Now we're gonna add in the egg and vanilla and mix that in properly too. Again, you can ask an adult to help you to make sure it's mixed properly. Keep mixing for about two to three minutes. Now we're gonna add in the flour, baking powder and salt and fold in gently with a spatula. This smells really nice by the way. Once you've mixed it for about three to four minutes and it looks like this, we're gonna add in the chocolate chips and fold them in gently as well. This part shouldn't take too long. You just need to make sure that all of the chocolate chips are hidden inside the mixture. Now we are going to take tablespoons of this mixture and place them on the tray. Try and make them nice and round so it's an even shape. Here's a tip for you. Make sure that the mixture is far apart from each other as it expands very large during baking. Now 
Now we are going to put this tray into the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes or in the fridge for half an hour. While they're chilling, preheat the oven at 180 degrees or gas not for. Ask Ganadu to help you do this part. So I've taken them out of the freezer and they should look like this. Nearly there and now you'll need an adult to put them in the oven for you. Mom! Mom! <laughs> Mom! Now you need to let them bake for about 12 minutes or until golden around the edges. Oh great, they're done, I can't wait. Let them cool slightly on the tray so you don't burn yourself and you can transfer them onto a wire rack after to cool completely. This is what they should look like when they're finished. Try them out, let me know what you think and if you have any questions leave a comment below. If you like this video don't forget to thumbs up. I'm going to quickly eat one before my brothers get to it. Mmm, that's lovely. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!